I am in the car again opening this vlog. Welcome back to Vlogtober. I think it's day 13 for you. For me it is Friday. Thank goodness it has been a long and exhausting week and I am so ready for the weekend even though we have a busy weekend. It's going to be fun busy so um, since I'm vlogging most days I will be vlogging all weekend so it will be coming up but right now I'm headed out to run some errands like usual. I'm going to get Claire's medicine from the vet and then I need to run a few places. I might just end up at Goodwill. Kind of just want to go browse at Goodwill and just like that's my sort of like downtime. Like, I don't know, my me time. My, what, you know, when people say, uh, what do they say? Self care. That's my self care. It's just browsing at Goodwill. So I might just end up there. I got a few hours before things get a little bit more hectic, before Jackson gets home and. Claire's medicine. It's just these little um, tiny little pills. Hopefully I'm able to give those to her. She has to take twice, two a day. This is for her thyroid. If you didn't watch my last video, she does have hyperthyroid and we're hopeful that, I don't know where her levels were. He was, I didn't ask him. I forgot to ask him, but we, I made an appointment for three weeks from today. I have to take her back and just have her thyroid level rechecked to see if the medicine's working. So I'll ask him then like, I'll know you know, what it, what it started at, but anything is an improvement. I think it's supposed to be five. So anything is an improvement. If it goes, you know, in the right direction, she starts to gain weight. That's the whole point. So anyway, got the medicine and now I am back at Lynchburg treasure hunt, which was, I came here a couple vlogs ago. You would have seen, uh, with Elena. And then I actually came back the next day with Madison and today is like the first day after they restocked again. So I've never been when they just restocked. Of course, everything is $7 today. When we came, it was $3 and $2 every day. It goes down. So it's a lot of people in this parking lot. This place is busy today. So it's just interesting to see. I'm just curious what they're going to have. That was a dud. Ow. Um, look at you here. They have like a ton of Target dollar spot stuff that's $5 and it's all $7 today. So why would I, I got dust on my lens. Um, I would not pay $7 for something I get at Target for five. So there was a, a few things I saw that I liked, but I kept thinking, oh, but it's $7 no. So if they were like five or three, you know. I guess I'm being kind of cheap, but anyway, I didn't find anything in there today, so I'll definitely check back though. It's fun to uh, keep checking back and see if some of the stuff is still there, you know? There was a lot of stuff and a lot of people today, so. So here we are, good old Goodwill. <laughs> Think I'll go in here for a few hours and if I have time, I'll run to Walmart. All right, I've kind of failed at vlogging today. Sometimes it's just too, too busy, there's too many people. It's too busy to take my camera in, but you've seen Walmart before. You've seen Goodwill before. I did go into Goodwill, spent a little while there, and my camera is, I need to tighten the screws on it. The screen is loose. Um, I ended up being at Goodwill for a little while, and I left. I still had some time left over, so I ran to Walmart and got a few groceries. I had a little list. I, you know, did my grocery shopping last week, but you know sometimes you meal plan, and you have it planned out for two weeks, and then you find a recipe, or you see something you're like I really want to make that but I did I don't have the stuff for it so so I went to Goodwill uh, Walmart and picked up some ingredients for a recipe I'm gonna try it next week actually a couple recipes I'll try it next week so I'll just do a little teeny tiny Walmart haul today and then I'll show you a couple things I got at Goodwill I think it's fun to show you what I picked up when I go out I enjoy that I enjoy watching that hopefully y'all do too it's just um, you know part of my day so it's kind of fun too to see what people can get in different parts of the country different parts of the world so let me turn you around and i'll show you what i got so it's pretty small so um i it, there's a few recipes that i'm going to use these for so i'll be sharing them i'm sure if they're good i got cilantro i needed some more uh ham we have turkey but i needed some ham i always buy these for jackson but i have not seen the teriyaki beef sticks so these are a dollar eight at walmart so not too bad so i got a couple of those i just throw those in his lunches or he eats them for snack um i got some i needed fire roasted green chilies so got one of those 
some sour cream, cream of potato soup, some of this salsa con queso, and some applesauce, half gallon of milk. We just buy half gallons and just get a new half gallon every week because Marion's really funny about his milk. It has to be like, he has to use it within a couple days of opening it and yeah. Long story, um, I got some sugar-free cake mix and then I saw this, I had not ever seen this before, but it says new look, same great taste. So it must they must have had them before, but I'm gonna try them, zero sugar. I looked for my zero sugar Cool Whip, but they didn't have any. And I looked at the added sugars to, on them and it's only like one added, one gram of added sugar in regular Cool Whips. So it's not really like that much difference. So I don't know, I might, I have some of that in my freezer. So I might make those and then use the Cool Whip on top. That would be so good. And maybe put some Lily's chocolate chips in it. Yum. Then I got some mini Coke, mini cherry Cokes. Jackson loves those. And then I grabbed this to put in my baby shower bag. We have a baby shower Sunday, Elena and I. So um, I just was, I just wanted some diapers. And I actually loved, when my babies were babies, I loved, loves diapers. I love the way they smell. They smell like a baby. <laughs> and they're cheaper than like the, the other brands. And for me, they worked really great. It's been a long time since I needed diapers for my kids, but I always liked them. So I'm going to throw that in. I might pull that out today and get that ready because we have that shower on Sunday. But I'm going to put all this away. My battery's flashing. And then I'll show you a couple things I picked up at Goodwill. But we got to go out for the second time. Got to go out again. Probably gonna take them for a walk in a minute because it is beautiful today. All right, change my battery, let the dogs in. So I've got a couple things at Goodwill. This was a Lily Pulitzer dress. So cool. It was $6.49, but it was just like the perfect lightweight summer dress. Of course, we're going into fall and winter, but I loved it. I love the way it fit and the blue and white was just so summery and pretty. And $6.50 for a Lily Pulitzer, that's a good deal. And then I just got a pair of leggings because they were so comfortable. What brand are they? Shoshi. S-H-O-S-H-O. Show Show. <laughs> They're kind of like an old brand, but anyway, they were just like the most comfortable, the most comfortable. I love black and like charcoal gray leggings. I don't really wear any other color. Bell Bell. Um, this is so cute. I just loved the way this fit. I loved the color of it and I loved the writing on it. It's it says hogs and kisses bob evans farms i don't know where they got it i don't know if it just was like from walmart or something but i do love bob evans we used to have a bob evans restaurant here and it was so good it was one of my favorites and then they closed it but anyway i think it's adorable and i loved the way that it fit and that was um half it was like a dollar 25 for that shirt so you can't beat that because it was the color of the week um then i just got these are american eagle jeans i paid 7.99 for them and they fit really good so a pair of jeans <laughs> i am it, it's hard to find jeans that i like i the styles now they're like super high-waisted and that just doesn't work for me they're really cute they fit nice so it's not often that i find jeans but that's my haul um i'm gonna go ahead and pull pull the baby shower stuff out and put that gift together then i'm gonna take the dogs for a walk this evening um i'm just gonna make spaghetti for dinner because it's friday and i don't like to do a lot on fridays i don't want to make it uh, you know i don't want to do too much in the kitchen i thought spaghetti would be easy and i really want spaghetti tonight so mary usually works out on fridays but i think our neighbor is going to come over and teach him how to put a new window in the basement he already bought the window and he took the old one out and it's just boarded up and we have been trying to get him to help us. Marion doesn't know how to like put a window in, but if he could learn, he could replace our windows himself. And our neighbor's a contractor and he like replaced all his windows. So I'm hoping he can teach Marion how to do that because that's the next big thing we need is new windows. I mean, we've needed them since we moved in. So if he could learn how, that would be awesome and save us a lot of money. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he can come over. He's like so busy. But he told him, he texted him yesterday and said, I'm coming, I'll help you Friday. So hopefully that happens tonight.
Wow, y'all had to build a whole frame? Do what? Y'all had to build the whole frame? Yeah. Well, it, it was mostly rotten on the bottom, and yeah. then to make the other window fit, this was like the easiest instead uh, of trying to fight with the old wood. But I'm just doing what he tells me. Well, I'm obviously working on dinner, super easy, spaghetti and garlic bread. <laughs> uh, Marion is out with our neighbor working on the window. I don't know, I don't wanna be too loud, they're right there. Um, I don't know if he, they've just been like cutting for like an hour, <laughs> like sawing. They had to replace like the wood around it because that window is where our gutters, before we had them replaced, they would, the water would leak onto that window and it just rotted the wood underneath. So they're cutting, they get this big like, I don't know how, it's a real thick piece of like treated lumber they are having to replace. So I think that's what they're doing now and then hopefully he's given him some instructions. He had told him a long time ago that he could um, put our windows in for him. Mary's like, no, just like show me how and I don't know. I'm hoping he's showing him so that we can maybe do our own like I said. But anyway, I don't know how long it will take. They've been at it for over an hour or so. But we had a good walk. The dogs were so good but they've been outside. They've been sitting on the porch with me for a long time and now they're just outside hanging out. It's just so gorgeous today. It's actually starting to get cool. There's a new window. Of course it's all drowned out, but Mary's gonna have to like fix the inside, but we'll have to look from out here. Inside it was too, the, yeah, the light was drowning it out, but. Anyway, there's so much we need to do. We have to replace siding, we have to replace all our windows, but that was like the first thing. Marion has a window now into his workroom. That's gonna be so nice. We did have a window there. It was just so old and broken and awful and it leaked, like I said, so. Now he's actually got like an actual window and he'll have sunlight, it'll be so nice. It's too bad that window is not in the other room where you know, his, his uh, work room, his like theater, man cave, whatever. Anyway, dinner is almost ready. I'm hungry. I don't even know what time it is. And there's dinner. Good old spaghetti. All right, Marion went to Home Depot to get like the caulk and insulation and stuff like that for the window. And he said he was gonna run to Walmart, so I asked him if he would pick me up some of these sugar-free oatmeal cookies, cause I've just been craving oatmeal cookies and we, I made those like oatmeal cream pie, apple pies, if you saw my last video. And I thought I could probably use these, put them in the air fryer with a little apple pie filling and then top it with ice cream. But I've actually been craving oatmeal cookies. So I'm gonna put this, he picked up some, <laughs> that's definitely not sugar free, some Bluebell van homemade vanilla. So I'm gonna make like ice cream sandwiches with these and then freeze them so that it will be partially sugar-free. <laughs> I've been just craving oatmeal cookies. I wanted like ice cream with oatmeal cookies in them like Ben and Jerry's. Oh, so good. But yeah, I figured this would be a little bit, little bit less sugar to have these. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of these and stick them in the freezer.
you have not had these cookies take my word for it they are phenomenal there's no sugar added oatmeal raisin cookies i don't even like raisins so oatmeal raisin is not my thing i love oatmeal cookies but you don't even taste them they are so good they are so good to me they're better than a full sugar cookie my daughter-in-law danielle loves them i was telling her about them she's like yeah i get them all the time i love them so like if you haven't tried them they're in the walmart section in the deli in the bakery section and they're always for us like kind of in a on a separate stand over by like the edge it's not over by the bread and stuff it's where they do like the donuts and cookies and stuff so good and i forget how much i think they're like three dollars but they're huge they're so good <laughs> I just can't tell you enough. Like, if you haven't tried them, if you've been thinking about it, try them. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. It is 7.30, and I don't have to edit tonight. First night all week, I don't have to edit. So I'm going to either watch some TV or watch some YouTube and just sit down and relax. But tomorrow we're going to go out for a little adventure. It's hopefully going to be fun. Hopefully it'll be beautiful weather. They keep up. It was supposed to be like 70, and they every day they, it's gone up, and now it's going to be like 79 tomorrow, which is strange, but then next week it's going to get cold again, but it's going to be a beautiful day, so we're going to go out on an adventure, so I'll be vlogging, so make sure that you come back, but give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.